In this video, I will show you how to get a BitGet private key. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, you can either do this on a PC by coming across to BitGet and logging into your account. Or alternatively, you can do this if you do have the BitGet app on your iPhone or Android device. So BitGet, like many other cryptocurrency exchanges, doesn't typically provide a private key in the same way that a cryptocurrency wallet does. Instead, what it does, it provides API keys, which is for programmatic access to its trading platform. These API keys consist of a public key, sometimes called an API key or API token, and a private key, which is sometimes called an API secret. The private key is used for cryptographic signing of requests and sent to BitGet's API to authenticate the requests and ensure that they are coming from you. However, BitGet or any reputable exchange typically does not expose your private key directly to you for security reasons. Instead, it generates a private key on its servers and provides it to you securely when you create an API key through its platform. So here is a quick guide of how you can obtain the private key for API access on BitGet. And the first thing you're going to want to do once you've signed into your BitGet account is you want to actually go into your API settings. So if you go to your account settings or profile and you should see a section related to API settings or API management. From here, you should see an option to create an API key. So what you need to do is follow the instructions to create your API key. You'll typically be prompted to give the key a name and choose the permissions you want to grant it. After configuring the settings, the platform will generate both a public key, your API key, and a private key, which is called an API secret, which will be generated for you. So once these have been generated, BitGet will usually display the API key and API secrets to you once. Ensure that because they only get to be once that you do copy and securely store both the API key and API secret in a safe location. Make sure to take caution not to share them publicly or with anyone you don't trust. Now before using the API key in your applications or scripts, it is advisable to test it just to ensure it's working as expected. Like many other exchanges, BitGet may provide a sandbox environment for testing API functionality without actually risking real funds. So just bear in mind that the private key, the API secret, is crucial for authenticating requests to BitGet's API, and it should be kept secure. If you do have any suspicions or suspect that your private key has been compromised, you should immediately revoke the API key associated with it and generate a new one. But that's a quick overview and guide on how to get a BitGet private key. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.